This is Don and Betty Gibbs, Don Eltart and Betty Gibbs in Idaho talking about these videos. This first bit is Ray Gibbs working and it looks like the house in Front Royal because if you notice the bricks in the next scene, they're, they're the same. The, I t this was a picture from when the house was, when we were living in the house. <clears throat> and this is a picture of what it looks like now. It hasn't really changed very much. These were taken in 1949. <clears throat> so I was five and Joan was three. I don't remember that dog at all. One of Uncle Victor's girlfriends. He had a lot. Everybody made jokes about Uncle Victor's girlfriends. Here's Scotty, very soon after he was born. Yeah. Let everybody know you're there, Scotty. This is me and Joan with uh, David and Jeannie Johnson in front of the house. Looks like it might have been soon after Christmas. And there's Scotty in the summer of 49. I remember that stroller. We had sunsuits. Joan didn't have on much of anything. And Daddy was Scotty. Uh, this next photo, the next videos are with uh, the Gibbs family from Madison. The uh, these were all of the grandchildren at the time, except Diane Gibbs, who was Bunny Gibbs's, who is Bunny Gibbs's daughter. That's Howie, Catherine, and Patricia in the back. Sharon and Nancy in the middle. Looks like Patricia's holding Scotty. Me on the left, Cornelia, Yan, and Joan. Oh, the next part, we see the grandparents and the aunts and uncles. Did you get together frequently as a family? Uh, yeah, but not in Front Royal. Mostly we got together at uh, the Gibbs house in Madison. I don't remember this particular time. So Daddy built the house at Linden between about 1948 and 1949. And we moved there in about May of 1950. And there's the house while it's under construction. It's cinder block with uh, stone facing from the Bull Run Mountains. And the 48 Chevrolet in the driveway. This is the inside of the house early on because you can see that the, um, the trimming is, the trim is not completed. And these were taken at the Linden house. Unfortunately, they're very dark. So, so I took some of these, uh, I took some uh, stills of, or shot, snapshots of some of the photos and lightened them up in, in uh, Photoshop so you can see who they were. There's Daddy. And this is a Bessie at, in the same place at a different time. Uncle Leo and Bob Johnson. That's probably me and Joan running. There, that's me and Joan on the left, Jeannie and David Johnson. And it looks like Bob Johnson and Bob and Herb. 
There we are. There's Scotty. Look at how cute he was. Uncle Victor was really good at getting us to forget that oh, pictures were being taken. So he would start taking a picture and then talk to us and then we'd kind of relax and then he would uh, cl uh, click the picture. It was the same thing with the, with the movies. There's the living room. This is taken later. Uh, there's us at the um, the windows in the living room during the snow and the dining room. You can see the these were early because the trim was not on the walls at the baseboard and around the doors. Uncle Leo with Bob. These were taken in the kitchen. And there are a couple of stills from that. There's Daddy and Nora Jane in the kitchen. Some more darkness. That's Bessie with the hair. And there's another time when Joan was in the kitchen. That picture was taken later, and this was one of our, our housekeepers. So you can see what the kitchen looks like. Well, we we had we liked to do tea parties. There were a lot of tea parties. It's Jeannie and me and Scotty and Joan. There's Nora Jane with Bob. He was doing tools even then. With that little hammer. Okay, hammer the camera. Yes. <laughs> looks, like, looks like Uncle Victor was saved. Yeah, I think Uncle Victor <laughs> stopped taking <laughs> taking the movie. <laughs> Daddy and Scotty. This was after church. You can see the little the missile. This was taken, I don't know, maybe about the same time. And because of the still shot that I had, I finally remembered that this was the, uh, the Queen of the May celebration at St. John's Catholic Church in Front Royal. And just notice the, the dresses that Joan and I have on there. This one the still, then you can see that we have those dresses. I have red socks and white shoes. Joan has white socks and red shoes. And here, this is a different time. And this is me and Joan with Nancy Clore, Aunt Catherine's daughter, and Sharon Gibbs, Jim and Margaret's daughter. And they had those cute little matching outfits. really jumpy in this one. <laughs> I think that's Scotty probably being held in the door in the window of the door. Yeah, you did have a lot of energy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Maybe that was my early dancing moves. <laughs> and this is another time. I don't remember that little sailor suit, but boy it sure is cute. me and Joan in the backyard, and Scotty will show up here in a minute. There's Scotty. This is still 1951. And there's Uncle Rocky and Bob Vaughn getting ready to set up the table for the picnic. Daddy roasted corn on the outside uh, 
fireplace, and boy was it good. Well, this is the Vaughn family. Bobby, Bob, Lorette, and Bonnie. We were good buddies, Bessie and Daddy. Went to the Moose Club with Bob and Lorette quite a bit. And Bobby was my first boyfriend. So I was about eight years old here. There's Scotty again. Uncle Victor didn't let him have the hammer that time. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's moping a little because he doesn't have it. Yeah. Oh. Oh no, he's looks intense there. Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, there's Jeanette Renzi. She's so cute. Look at her. And there's, there's the group. And Eileen was pregnant with Peter, and that's how I uh, identified the date. Lucille doesn't show up here. She was uh, just maybe six or eight months old, so she must have been uh, taking a nap. And here's Uncle Victor. And that's going to be about the end of it. Oh, here's Jeanette being brave. Jump off. That's a big jump for a little girl. <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening.